Good afternoon, everyone. This is this is your Captain Stevenosaurus speaking, and this is today's Guild War against Thailand. So they have like five or six un inactive players, but unfortunately they are a very strong guild, level 20. It's reset hell, see? We're, we're all back to a thousand or ten thousand points. We're technically number one, so is everyone else. So for the next week or two, it's just going to be like this. We might get strong guilds, we might get dead guilds. Until our, our, all the strong guilds start climbing, it's just going to be a bit rough for a bit. But um, but then once that's gone, we're going to get some good matchups. But anyways, let's get into it. So we're likely going to lose this guild war, but let's just have some fun. Oh, this, this looks like a Violet came up top. Violet, very good value up top here. Let me see, where's Violet? Now, I'm, I'm not going to Violet solo this. A, a, a well-built Violet could solo this team, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to bring Senya. She has very good value here because she gives buffs to the whole team. Now, who else do I bring? Now, there's a lot of, like, just BS with... like Actually, where's the damage in this team? Could I just Vildred this? Nah, 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 nah. We do have a Landy, though. With uh with immunity, but the Cerise is gonna strip that, but we could We could just bring Ray to cleanse and heal. So we're just gonna slowly kill Cerise. Oh, do we have damage to kill the Momo though? Actually, yeah, we need damage to kill the Momo. If we don't kill the Momo, we're just gonna get soloed here. So we're gonna bring Landy. So if we can get rid of the Cerise and the Dizzy, then we don't have to worry about anyone dying here, and then we just kill Momo slowly. Now for the bottom team, this is a Cleave team. So I'm assuming that's a really fast Lilius because of the... I think she's the Cleave setup for the C-Dom, like maybe like 250 or something. She does S3, she crits on everyone, pushes up the C-Dom, C-Dom does her S3, one-shots someone, then Judge Kise cleaves. But we're not going to let that happen. First off, we're going to bring anti-cleave units like uh, RB and t -Surin. And we're going to bring Cerise to shut down the C-Dom setup. So we're going to see what happens here. Now because all my units in this top team have immunity, the Dizzy's going to do nothing, but the Cerise is going to go first and... Oh! So the damage is Cerise. But as you can see, we all have e immunity, so we just do not care. And because Dizzy's S3 is a miss, it, it can't crit, so we just get buffs for a whole team here. Oh my gosh, this guy messed up. Now try me. Don't chicken out. Face me. I'll show you how a hero does things. I think we just nuke the Momo here. My sword will pierce your heart. So unfortunately we didn't one shot her, but we make her pop the S3. And on Dizzy too, that's good. Dizzy's nothing to us. We're just gonna kill Momo now. Okay. She unfortunately she hit my units, but she did not hit, hit the Violet, so Violet just counters. Enemies approaching. We gotta kill Momo here. Alrighty. I know I'm beautiful. So, does the Soulburn do more damage? What's the Soulburn do? Uh, just a 100% effect chance. We don't care. So at full focus, Violet does more damage to S3, so you should save it, but I'm just gonna do it now because Dizzy's dead. Does not submit to so things. as expected, it is a cleave. It probably is a cleave setup. So we can do an S3 from Cerise here to slow down the team and also give them the restriction debuff. So, so my RB just laps. Oh, outsped. Oh my gosh, my whole team outsped now because of the slow debuff. So with the restriction debuff, oh. Okay. Well, with Restriction, you can't get CR pushed. So, when Lilius does her S3 to crit all my units to push up the C-Dom, because C-Dom has the 
restriction debuff, she can't get the push up. Very useful. Assist me. Here I go. Insignificant. <sighs> I will not just stand by and watch. Help. So pretty simple. I will show you greater death. So even if they got their cleave off, T Cern can't be one shot, and RB he gets the revive if he dies, because Judge Kise can only like do like counter RB if she's being controlled by a player who can soul burn to get an extra turn. What's going on with here? This guy's got like a. An RTA frame, so let's play him. Interesting composition here. So it's very single target focused, so we do have we could just still use Landy here. But there is a Sid, I don't like that. We could actually just Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is this is pretty if we can snipe the... Oh, actually, never mind. That's actually bad. I think we still... We, we bring, like... Bring, like, Stenny or something. But then who do we... Because... The Sangelica is probably fast. She's going to give the attack buff oh, and the speed buff to Sid, who's going to one-shot someone. So that's very dangerous. And he gets an extra turn if he kills with S3, so that's very sus. We need to lock down that Sid. So I think we just go... I think we just do Shadow Squad, maybe. But if that's like a prophetic candlestick, Angelica, I won't be able to kill her. So I think I'll bring... But I need the Tagahels. I don't know how fast this like fast this Angelica is. Like if because I could bring Basar, but if Basar my Basar is kind of slow, so if that Angelica goes first and gives the buff to Sid, he might outspeed me, which is not good. But I maybe we still take the risk. We're, we're gonna Basar push back the whole team, then we're gonna just RB kill this guy. Oh, we're out of Tag Health, so we don't need him. Oh, we don't need her. Who do we bring here? I could just bring Kisei to snipe the to snipe to snipe the the um, the Singelica. and then Basar will push back the Sid and the and the Stene, and then my Arby just kills them. And if I lose Basar to the Sid, no big deal. Okay, bottom team. Okay, we have... This is one is is kind of sus. So I think we do... I think we still do Shadow Team, actually, for this one. Because we need to get rid of that... That LQC. Actually, we don't really need to. I think we should, just the Charles could probably be left alone because we have a Stenny S1 here. Yeah, if we get rid of the LQC, we're not really worried about anything else. Let's do it. Oh my god! No, 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 just keep safe. Okay, let's try to get the kill here. It, she's gonna miss, but I have to try it. Ah, oh, I missed, but I get the stealth. So who dies here? Arby. Uh oh. Oh my god. Whose turn is it today? And Sangelica extincted him. Time to put an end to this. Do know the no gab. The the moon will fall. Okay. Kiss my feet. Okay. Oh no! 
This Angelica. No oh. From the light of the because, flame. oh, thank God. No, she's not dead. No! Ah, uh, this Angelica was still so fast. I should have brought, so fast. Faster than my Kisei. She's gonna die. Let's save Kisei here. I, go to I was so me. close. I was so close. Maybe I'm working too hard. Wait, that Charles. Wait, oh, I forgot. Does she, she he gives attack buff to everyone, so I'm not. Yeah, we still we still kill LQC here. Tire them out. That Charles is really really fast. But wait, that means he's not in counter set. Oh God. Okay, we kill LQC. Now we gotta try to stun the Lilius here, because if, if my Tomoka gets out of stealth, she's dead. Okay. Oh! No, no. Oh, thank god he didn't counter. He didn't do like S1 proc. So he's on Elbrus. That's really bad. I don't want him to Elbrus me. Wait. He's not in counter, so hitting him won't he won't proc counter attacks. Correct your posture. Do you handle this? Watch and learn. Oh my 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 Stene! Wait, wait, Charles, Charles, don't do it, don't do it. No! My F Clary solos this, but I lose Tomaka here. Fight a little harder, Flurry. I hope this job is a little easier. Maybe I'm working too hard. Got it, Flurry? Just like we practiced. I hope this job is a little easier. Maybe I'm working too hard. She have it. She has it. I want to wait for her to get the bear for the barrier skill because I don't really care about pushback. Ah uh, man, this is a really bad. This guy. This guy is very cheesy. I gotta hand it to him for that though. I lost some of my best units there. Maybe I'm working too hard. Got it, Flurry? Just like we practiced. I hope this job is a little easier. Fight a little harder. So this is why I have Clary is a pretty nice hero to build, because look at this, she's just soloing this. Like this Lilius can't kill her. I hope this job is a little easier. You've made it this far. But no further. Doesn't matter what she's doing, I'm I'm just killing her. Oh wait, the barrier. Does she have it? She doesn't have it yet. Oh my god, please die. So yeah, unfortunately we lost a real we lost a bunch of really good units there, unfortunately. That was really bad. So I need to shop around. I, like, I don't know if this this last person I was hoping to hit is a gonna be a good choice now that I just lost a bunch of good stuff. Who did I even want to hit last? Oof. No way. I need someone good that, like, Violet can solo. Because I need to, like, make up for the fact that I just lost a bunch of units. That's cancerous. Hmm. Potentially.
I really see anyone that I can hit here. Cool. I could hit a lot of these level 69s. I don't hit. I want to hit level 70 to really show off. Fortunately, we don't really have targets here. Oh man, this one. We could just maybe. Could we beat this one? This one probably has a really fast op sig. We can't use carrot here because of that Caesarado. Could we violet this one? Could use an R like an RGB team here. So for this bottom team, I am very sus about it. It's very single target heavy. What? So we could bring Landy here. They're tanky units, so t Cern doesn't get that much lifesteal since I'm running her on MLDB and not Basket. We can just bring Ruel just to like make sure we stay alive here. So we're going to try to snipe the Opsig with Kisei. And then we'll just slowly solo this team down with Ravi and Violet. That's our game plan. For this top team, we're going to see if we can defeat this team quickly. And then just win. Well, if we can get rid of the LQC, we're really not threatened here. Although I can just I, I can kind of ignore her because like the Landy can't be targeted if she has the Guiding Light proc. So we can try to kill the the, the Alensi here because her a, a, AOE strip plus like she has defense breaks in her S1. Very dangerous. We'll go for her. So as expected, we go first, and we can we can snipe her, but a T Cern's fast. Can we counter? Counter attack! Counter attack! Counter attack! No counter, but the my. Oh, it's MLDB! It's MLDB! Uh oh! Uh oh! Okay. Need my help? We gotta kill this Caesarado. Be grateful that you get to fight me. Well, one shot by the rain. Light that rules the dawn. Okay. Counter? No counter, unfortunately. This will be the last move gab, very nice. Where was your gab last time? I real like if I had killed that Singelica, I think I would have won when my key, like with the key sick because she she had, she had like almost no health HP. This job is a little easier. Actually, LQC has one shot potential. I don't really like that. We're gonna we're gonna take we're gonna lock her down. I'm not afraid. gonna get pushed up here but can we get a dual attack no dual attack oh yeah she it's it's when she gets crit that's when it happens maybe I'm working too hard may the light guide us She has Sigurd Scythe. Guiding Light proc. Fight a little harder, Flurry. She has attack. She has a lot of attack now. Oh! Let's go the clutch dual attack. There we go. My luck has come back. All right. Now we just have to slowly kill this Alencia. So not only does my Landy have immunity now, but she's also a bit more tanky, so this is actually really good. It's, oh my gosh, that ARAS has like no HP. Durandal. Oh, oh no. She, she doesn't have Mind's Eye, so when you hit her, she has a chance to proximate Mind's Eye. 
So when she gets Mind's Eye, when she S1, she does like a double attack. So she hits you once and then does another attack. So when she when she defense breaks you on the first attack, it's very dangerous because the Mind's Eye makes her just do a second attack right into that defense break. It could kill you. And it will kill my Landy. I'm just going to protect Landy. We have to protect... So there she has the Mind's Eye procs. There she has got Mind's Eye now. And it can't be... It can't be str Counter Alencia. So that's weird. So I have the I have the guiding lights so she can only go onto my F Clary. And my F Clary has a defense buff, plus she's pretty tanky. I think we're pretty safe to just save. So she there she does the double attack. Oddly enough, she didn't go for the F Clary. Maybe I'm working too hard. So we're just gonna get rid of her. So, very unfortunate today, we, we inted one, these guys are pretty tough, they're level 20, they, they should be like a top guild, so... I haven't seen these guys in the top 500, but these guys are definitely very strong enough to be deserving to being in the top ranks. So, we got very unfortunate matchup today, but just to tough it out guys, we can eventually, we'll eventually get the, the good guilds that fight against, and we can try to get to that top bracket like we tried to do last season. Just keep improving your stuff, keep working hard, understand what works and what doesn't. And if you need any help, always ask. I'll try to do my best. And anyways, this is your Captain Stephen Osaur speaking. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.